estoy con Edison. Estamos en el centro de la centro ciudad. Comercial centro Junín. Junín. Sí, centro comercial Junín. Ahora vamos a comer a Ajiaco. Sí, y hacer cosas normales. <laughs> Got a lot of food options. All really good. Cool. More downtown. Tenemos una bandeja típica. We're back in El Poblado. They got some shopping and stuff going on, stores. Estamos en moda. ¿En qué moda? Moda. Todos los demás en salen sacan. Ahí. And having more coffee. Yeah, he's on. Hi. Turns out there were some people interested in me last night. <laughs> and one had a husband already and he was there. But he's okay with her having her fantasies. So, I don't know. Weird stuff. Okay. What's up? After kicking it with Eddie sitting and all of them, I'm just with my boy. We're hanging out here at a Thai restaurant, just telling them all the stories. We're, we're trying to figure shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Exchanging stories, <laughs> some funny stories of Medellin, but beautiful view of Parque Geras from here. But, yeah, stay tuned. So, over. soy caliente does not mean it's hot in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently he said that to a girl and she took it the wrong way, but <laughs> now he knows. Dude, have you been to DC? Never, never been to the East Coast. There is a big uh, land dancing there. I wouldn't be surprised. Great yeah. town and salsa and all that. Yeah. I really like that stuff. We just walk around Poblado during the day. Well, I guess it's starting to transition to the night. If Which, you come to Estadio, there's like yeah. my neighborhood. Yeah. It's going to like the plaza, the Exito. There's so many gorgeous girls there, like, yeah. all locals, and they're all beautiful, and they just seem really cool. Over there, it's really local, really chill, really laid back. What's up? Walking from Poblado with my boy. And we just found this. Yeah, watch your wallet. <laughs> yeah, watch your wallet. Yep, yeah, and we found this spot with a lot of people. I don't know, we're gonna see what it is. So someone, it's all fun and games until someone takes my wallet. Check it out, comida peruana. Uh, yeah, pretty stoked. Well, my boy, he's excited for Peruvian food. I love Peruvian food. Yeah. Any day. Peruvian girls? Peruvian girls? <laughs> They're not like here. That's all I have to I say. Like, <laughs> I like the living girls yeah. better. <laughs> Stoico, daddy. No, ya 
sabe. <risos> Não, já, já sei. Guaro. Guaro. Não me digo que quiere guaro. Guaro, Ron.
I guess drunk thoughts are better than sober thoughts because then you get the whole deal, you know, it's the whole truth. I'm in my ear, maybe I have to whisper because the family here is um, sleeping, so I don't want to be super loud. I just got old. It is 4.22 in the morning. Holy fuck. And tomorrow I have to go to the finca. That's going to be crazy. I'm not... We're staying the night there, and there's going to be a hell of people. So I don't know where the hell I'm going to sleep, but it's going to be dirt, and we're going to do it all. Tonight was pretty cool. Um, went out with Edison, two local girls, and then this couple. They were a little bit more reserved. Um, I'm, I'm kind of timid to bigger groups, I'll be honest. Like At first, I was a little timid because... Um, you know, I'm the only foreigner in the group. My Spanish isn't as good. And there's a lot of noise, like, the at the bars and stuff. I can't really hear that well. And they're talking, obviously. They're going to be able to pick up the words a little better than I can. So it's a little harder for me to understand, so I'm a little bit timid. But, I mean, we got a little bit of alcohol going. Then we started dancing. You know, the girls were teaching me some porro. And I was showing one of the girls a little bit of salsa because she doesn't know it. I mean, it was, a, it was a cool experience, and they turned out to be really nice girls. Um, we were just kicking it and everything, and then we hit up a few spots, and yeah, it was it was dope. So, um, yeah, we called a night, just got back in my Uber. My, the bro in the Uber was a complete... <laughs> that was the coolest Uber driver I've ever had. He's a fucking perv. He was all like fucking rolling down the windows. He pulled over for some girls and he was all like, hey, what's good? Like, what's good, my my love? So like, you coming in or what? Oh, I was just fucking cracking up. This guy's a troll. And the girls were loving it too. So I was like, man, this is fucking dope. So I like, made it back home. It's like 420, 420 I really can't complain too much, man. It was, it was a cool night, good company. I really love it, Medellin. Um, this time, I was only planning to stay here for like two and a half weeks, leave to Mexico for a week, but I'm thinking about, I was thinking about canceling the flights to Mexico and just staying that extra week here in Medellin. And, um, calling it good like that, because quite frankly, there's still a lot I want to do. I still want to learn porro, I still want to learn more bachata at my school year. Like, yeah, it's kind of tough. Like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. Like, I got a good engineering job at home, pretty good salary, pretty good place, good location. But I mean, sometimes I still feel like there's a void inside, you know? So, like, a huge part of me just wants me to pick up everything and just fucking hijack, just come here and imagine. Like, there's more to it. Like, yeah, I can have all the fancy cars there and, you know, nice place. But, you know, at the end of the day, if I have good people in my life, roof over my head, food to eat, fuck, no more can I want, you know? Just grind some dance, everything. But yeah, it was another awesome night. Tomorrow, I'm going to the finca. And it's going to be crazy. Everyone's going. Um, dance teacher, 
he's a dog, but I gotta help him out on a task tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. <sighs> Keep you guys updated, man. I want to, my Spanish is, I would say, intermediate. I still want to get it even better. And, like, I'm already doing a lot with my Spanish. Like, I can only imagine if I got my Spanish better where it could take me the type of experiences I could have. wish I wasn't here as a passerby, but as someone who actually actually stays here, that'd be dope. Kind of inspired me. I'm going to learn some more code when I get back to the States and start grinding, making my way back here. So we'll see. I don't know what I'll decide when I'm sober. Do I want to go to Mexico? Or do I just want to stay here? Because I'm just, this whole week, I've had one of the best times of my life already. It's fucking crazy here already. But alright guys.